Dear listener, welcome to my channel. Topic of this video is Introduction to Information Retrieval. This is the part 2 video of IR. In this video, I am going to cover basic concept of IR, retrieval process, past, present and future of IR system, practical and research issues associated with IR system. Now let us start. Basic concept of IR. Now in this diagram, this is the user and user's information need. In between IR system is there. Now user may do browsing or user may do retrieval and searching. The effective retrieval of relevant information is directly affected by the user task and the logical view of the documents adopted by the retrieval system. Now we will first see user task. The first the user information need is translated into query by the user. The user uses natural language boolean operators to construct the queries for a particular information need. Therefore, query may be semantically ambiguous, vague and ad hoc in nature. Also, query quality may differ for different types of user, for example, name user and expert users. Two types are there in user tasks that is nothing but browsing and retrieval slash searching. First, we will see the browsing. A user want to search for something but ends up searching for another thing. This means that user is browsing and not searching, that is search topic is not fixed. The user can browse the documents when main objective are not clear in the beginning and whose purpose might change during the interaction with the system. Example, user need uh, information on cricket world cup. So in user's mind, the question may be such as who owned the maximum time World Cup, maximum runs and wickets in the World Cup, in which country final match was played. For example, from the country in which final match was played, the user may check the tourism option of that country, then maybe demography, geographic and political status of that country. It indicates that search may continue in different direction or may start to return the information on selected topic once it is finalized but till time we can say that the user is browsing the uh, IR system retrieval slash searching user gives query to information system here user is not changing the topic topic is fixed when the results are retrieved the user clicks on the relevant documents get more knowledge and enter refine queries with the new keywords and continue searching on a particular topic Three types of systems are there. First is classical information retrieval system that is normally allow information or data retrieval. Hypertext system which allow tune for providing the quick browsing. Modern digital library and web interface which attempt to combine both that is browsing and retrieval searching to provide the improved retrieval capabilities. However, the combination of retrieval and browsing is not yet a well established approach. Also user task has two ways that is pull technology and push technology. In pull technology, user explicitly requests the information from an information system in an interactive manner. Three types of tasks are there. Browsing, retrieval, browsing and retrieval. We already see this task in the previous slide. Another is push technology. Here user is not uh, explicitly taking the information from the system but the system for example software agents are pushing the information to the user that is automatic and permanent pushing of information to user it is generally done by the programs for example new services product information if we register for particular new service or product information they are giving the information or notification of the information now here it is the task of user whether to check that information immediately or later and uh, whether to read that information or whether to ignore that information. Logical view of the documents adopted by the retrieval system. Here same as query we require to make the logical view of the documents also. So there are a variety types of ways in which logical view of the documents is maintained. First is index term, keyword or term descriptor. Keywords can be derived directly from the documents text or automatically by an algorithm or human expert. These keywords provide a logical view of the documents. Means documents is represented by these keywords and on these keywords indexing can be possible. Advantage is that it is more concise representation and 
easy to do and understand also disadvantage poor quality of retrieval poor quality of retrieval is because of these reasons for example term mismatch it is possible that relevant documents containing synonyms terms will not be written for example public republic of china uh, public republic of china and versus china both are same words but in that document if china is there then we can't uh, if the queries come with the prc word we can't retrieve the documents same for car versus automobile ambiguity may be present it is possible to retrieve the irrelevant documents that includes the ambiguous phrases for example apple company versus fruit unless an uh, user specified that user is searching for apple company it may happen that the documents related to apple fruits may get retrieved java it may be programming language same it may be island second is full text in this all of the words that comprise a document text are used as a indexing keywords so no special words is extracted from the document but all words represent as a indexing keywords for modern computers with high computation power it is possible to represent a document by its full set of words it is most complete logical view of document at the cost of high computation intermediate view that is reduced set of keywords however with excessive massive document collection even modern machines may require to decrease the list of representative keywords for a document rather than going for entire document this can be accomplished by removing stop words such as articles and connectives stemming operation which reduces unique words to their common grammatical root identifying the noun groups which removes adjective adverb and verbs additionally we can apply the compression also these are also known as text operation or transformation because it transforming the original data to the new data example of stop words are a and the add b as extra stemming for example in documents if the word is play played playful playing or plays it is converted to play even on the query side even the user is giving the query in these different words it is converted to play so it is easy to check in the documents noun group on the desk bottle of milk bowl of rice kitchen table so these are nothing but the noun groups in which adjective adverb and verb is not present it is completely treated as a noun term so on this also we can perform the efficient indexing if we want additionally we can apply the compression but generally uh, it takes uh, some efforts because when we do the compressed compression so we generally do the compression on entire page or in the blocks so here if we want to go for compression then compression on word as a symbol means we require to do the compression on word not on the entire document so this approach we have to follow for compression technique several intermediate logical views might be adopted by information retrieval system according to their convenience as shown in the following figure so this already i explained in previous slide so first uh, we remove the spaces stop words separate noun groups do stemming then manual indexing and we extract the indexing word in some of the documents structure may be present the structure may be in the form of book like chapter section subsection in terms of hypertext different type of structure is present so we can extract the structure because that structure also gives that useful information uh, during the retrieval of the documents so the information of the structure of the document might be quite useful and is required by the structured text retrieval models so in this way we are removing the index word from the document retrieval process so this is the entire diagram of the retrieval process so this diagram is very much important and this diagram will show that how the re retrieval process works from start to end we see one by one first generate the logical view of the documents before the retrieval process can even be initiated it is necessary to define the text database this is usually done by the manager of the database which specifies the following first which documents to be used so here documents may be flat or documents may contain a partial structure so the database manager required to take the decision according to structure of the data the operation to be performed on the text maybe stemming stop word removal noun group maybe compression 
the text model that is text structure and what elements to be retrieved from the text document the text operation transforms the original documents and generate the logical view of the document building an index of the text database once the logical view of the document is defined the database manager builds an index on the text an index is a critical data structure and which allows fast searching over the large volume of data different index structure might be used but the most popular indexing structure is inverted file the resources that is time and storage storage space spent on defining the text database and building the index are amortized by the querying the retrieval system many times that is we can see the success of the index in fast retrieval of the document third step initiating the retrieval process by specifying a user need the user first specify the user need by giving a query <coughs> now here also we require to make the logical view of the user query so fourth step is generating a logical view of user need query is passed and transformed by the same text operation applied on the text document then query operation might be applied before the actual query which provides a system representation for the user need is generated for example when we type in search engine something query so it generally gives a suggestion so that suggestion is entered into the system directly fifth retrieving documents by processing the query the query is in process to obtain the retrieved documents fast query processing is made possible by index structure previously built sixth is ranking documents upon relevance score before being sent to the user the retrieved documents are ranked according to the likelihood of relevance of the query keywords initiating a user feedback cycle the user then examines the set of ranked documents in search for useful information when the user give first time query some documents get retrieved at this point the user may find that some documents are relevant to user and it will click on that documents and that becomes that relevant documents for the user and user initiates the feedback cycle in such cycle the system uses the document selected by the user to change the query formulation this modified query is a better representation of the real user need so this happens cognitively and it is not initiated to the user directly so in this seven steps are there for retrieval process now the next topic is past present and future of the ir system the index is an essential component and key success factor of the ir system in the beginning index and indexing were manually generated by the topic expert much like the indexes created in libraries to categorize the book indexing can now be done automatically with the help of computers two perspective on the ir issues are presented in this aspect first is computer centered and human centered computer centered ir problem mainly consist of building up efficient indexes processing the user queries with high performance and developing ranking algorithms which improve the quality of the answer set means entire problem is handled by the computer human centered ir problem consist of mainly studying the behavior of the user understanding the user's needs determining how much such understanding affects the organization and operation of the retrieval system so this is inclined to the cognitive style according to this view keyboard keyword based query processing might be seen as a strategy which is unlikely to yield a good solution to the information retrieval problem in the long run so human centered approach is much more advanced uh, in front of the computer centered system second is information retrieval in the library libraries were the first to adopt the ir system for information retrieval in the first generation it consisted automation of the previous technologies and then search was built on author name and title in the second generation it includes searching by subject heading keyword in the third generation it consists of graphical interface electronic forms hypertext feature these are the different types of example of libraries information system third is web and digital libraries low cost greater access and publishing freedom have allowed people to use the web 
that is modern digital libraries as a highly interactive medium such interactivity allows people to exchange message photos documents software videos and chat in convenient and low cost fashion in the future three main questions need to be addressed first which technique will allow the retrieval of higher quality second with the ever increasing demand for access quick response is becoming more and more a pressure pressurized factor thus which technique will yield faster indexes and smaller query response time third the quality of the retrieval task is greatly affected by the user interaction with the system thus how will a better understanding of the user behavior affects the design and deployment of the new information retrieval strategy so these are the issues that we need quick response relevant documents and the documents with the higher quality and the system should understand the user need user behavior to retrieve the documents that is user preferences taken into the consideration last topic that is practical and research issues for ir ocr and digitization a high quality scanning and digitization are critical for the success of an ir application because everything we make digitized cross language retrieval so submit a query in one language and we may want a response to be in another language copyright and patent because the majority of the data is digitized from copyright and patents are vital for the original content of the documents privacy protection the privacy of the user who makes use of ir system should be protected algorithm for encryption password and other sensitive information should be sent in encrypted form by the application to maintain the privacy and the uh, important of the information so that is all about the practical and research issues of ir these are the two references that is modern information retrieval and introduction to information retrieval these two books are used for creating this presentation so part 1 and part 2 covers introduction to information retrieval in the next video uh, next video of ir is on the modeling of ir system thank you